If you frequent this channel at all, you know that this is Christian apologist ordinaire William Lane Craig. And I'm sorry. I am. I'm, I'm so sorry. Bill is no idiot. He has a BA from Wheaton College, a master's from the Trinity Evangelical Divinity School, a PhD in philosophy from the University of Birmingham, and a doctorate of theology from the University of Munich. So once again, we have the Germans to blame. But what people don't know is that Bill also has a law degree, a JD from the University of Caveman in Utsi. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm just a caveman. I fell in some ice and later got thawed out by some of your scientists. Your world frightens and confuses me. That's right, despite the fact that Bill is perhaps one of the most overeducated people on the planet. The people that I debate are the top academic scholars uh, at secular universities who are atheists and agnostics. His caveman lawyer credentials enable him to feign ignorance like no one else on the planet. Take a look at Bill's attempt to get God off the hook for all the evil in the world. The atheist assumes that if God is all powerful, he can create just any world that he wants. And that's not necessarily true. If God wills to create free creatures, then he can't guarantee they'll always do what is right. It's logically impossible to make someone freely do something. So God's being all powerful doesn't mean he can do the logically impossible. You may not have picked up on it, which is why coming here was genius on your part. But Bill is forgetting oh so conveniently that omnipotence is not God's only omni attribute. Along with omnipotence and omnibenevolence, being all loving, Craig's God is also omniscient or all-knowing. That omniscience thing is a big problem for Bill and his bullshit, but before we get to that point specifically, let's look at some of the other problems with what Bill said. First off, it's not at all clear that we have the kind of free will that Bill is talking about. Neuroscience is building an ever-growing case against the notion of what's known in philosophical circles as libertarian free will. Indeed, we're just starting to understand that some of the most hideous evils committed by human beings are the result of a lack of free will. Traumatic brain injuries, chemical imbalances, and even tumors which cause people to behave in ways they, they wouldn't otherwise. Then there's the question of heaven. A place of eternal bliss God has designed for those of us who pass his groveling test. In heaven there will be no evil, and yet one would presume or at least hope that we retain our free will. But if so, then allowing evil cannot be necessary here, in this anti-heaven God so generously created for us. Now, as mentioned, the biggest problem for Bill is that his God is omniscient. He knows everything, which means God could have created a world filled only with free people he knew would always do what is right. He could have Dr. Stranged his way through all the possibilities and picked the world filled since he's the one doing the filling with only good people who choose what is good and right freely. And it's not like such people couldn't exist. You almost certainly know someone like this right now. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but my daughter is just such a person. She has not one molecule in her body that wants to harm others or do anything malevolent or intentionally wrong. Problem of evil solved if you're omniscient and omnipotent. Of course, God's omnipotence also means that he, and he alone, is responsible for all the initial conditions into which we, the allegedly free creatures, are born our genetics, our family situations, the evils he allows, the exposure to which will shape our developing brains and psyches as they grow, etc. God's omnipotence means that he is responsible for everything that happens. With great power comes great responsibility. With all power comes, well, you get the idea. Just don't expect Bill to get it. What self-respecting caveman lawyer would once again, I'm me. Thanks for watching.